Welcome Cancer, it's still the Taurus season. Cancers, Cancers, Cancers. All right, Cancers, what do we have in the Taurus season for you guys? So we see um, everything is fine, but it's not. Okay, if you recognize this energy of this card is the Ten of Swords that said everything is fine. Um, but it's not because it is in the reverse. So we have to recognize what is transpire. Everything is fine, but it's in reverse. If it was upright, it is yes, but um, down, um, it is in the reverse. So everything is not fine. There is two ten of swords in this deck, and it represents when things are good and when things are bad. Now that you are coming in the story season, and this story season is from April twentieth until May twentieth. This is the energy of the second house. The second house have to do with your financial stability. And uh, the second house manage your materialistic stability. So cancers, a lot of you are going through some sort of a um, financial problem, financial situation. Um, and this Taurus season, um, it, you are going to be recognizing that a whole lot of problems is here. You start off the season with a 10 of pentacles and things are not okay because the second week there is a heartbreak. The third week, some sort of a secrets comes out and now there is a whole lot of conflicts that is going on. So this week, this Taurus season is going to be bringing you, um, cancers in a very unconventional place when it comes up to money and your financial flow okay because remember this is uh, um the energy of abundance in money and prosperity and it has to do with the second house and the second house have to do with your materialistic stability so what we're recognizing here is that uh, some sort of a secrecy is out and is going to be coming out and this is in the third week of uh, may 10 may 4th to may 10th and whatever the secret is is going to be creating a whole lot of conflicts um cancers and you have to be aware now cancers it is advisable to take in a um, a subscription, the subscription, any one of the subscription will get you to see any one of these crystal. You need to choose a crystal. You need to understand um, how the, the, the season readings go. The season readings are connected with a crystal. This, the, whatever crystal um, that you are connected with is the crystal that is going to be helping you to move forward through this timeline okay so you'll need to recognize that uh, whenever a, a season comes up is a timeline and this is the second house the house of your materialistic stability choose a subscription you will see the link of the crystals underneath the reading choose um a subscription and check out to see which one of these crystal is going to help you to manifest to come out of these problems that you're dealing with all right so let's look at the first week the first week is from april 20th until april 26 april 20th until april 26 what we have here is the 10 of sun the sun in gemini the 10 of swords the sun is in gemini but it's not so a lot of you cancers are dealing with someone dealing with a gemini and you and this gemini is connected whether it's your husband, your partner, whoever this Gemini is, and there's a serious situation with a whole lot of money. Is this your boss? Is this your parents? Who is this Gemini? Because the sun is not in Gemini for you. Everything is not good between you and this Gemini because there is some sort of a financial situation that is happening and transpiring. Let's see what is happening. Yes, there is some sort of an investigation um, that is taking place. I see a whole lot of information is going to be coming out. Whatever is happening and transpiring, a whole lot of information is coming out. Um, some sort of an investigation is going on and a whole lot of details and information is coming out that has to do um, with a Gemini and you. So um, this is a serious, a serious situation because whoever this Gemini is, you're connected with them. 
and it's either a family member or either your husband okay so uh, it could be also someone you're in a relationship a long-term relationship with and they're now recognizing and receiving a lot of information over this person because they're now recognizing that you are connected to this person so um whatever is transpiring they're now investigating a friend of yours and this is a gemini it could be your husband a long-term partner could be a sister or a brother but whoever this Gemini is, they are having and receiving some sort of a data and information. And you and this Gemini are not in a good place at this moment because it has to do with a whole lot of money. And this could be your husband, a long-term partner, or some sort of a, um, relationship that you had with a Gemini. Some sort of a information is about to come out that people was not aware of. Maybe this Gemini is your husband, your wife. That is going to be finding out a whole lot of information about you and your friends. I see that a friend is now on the investigation, whoever this friend is, and a whole lot of information. This friend is going to be giving up a whole lot of information about you, cancers. Whoever this friend is, is going to be clearing themselves and letting you fall. Um, is it that you are going to be falling or is it that you were aware um, of what you were doing so whoever this Gemini is this Gemini could be a lover ex-lover a uh, side piece partner side piece chick whoever this person is is going to be showing up some sort of a data and information that is going to be affecting you Gemini you cancers and these are information and data that is coming out that um, a lot of you didn't want to come out because it's going to be costing you the relationship of you and this person. Some of you could be in some sort of a relationship or a marriage um, with a Pisces, whether this Pisces is. Um, some sort of a information and data is coming out about the Pisces. So some of you cancers could be married or in some sort of a relationship or is a family member to you. However, this is coming out. Data and information. They, the Pisces is going to be giving up data and information about you cancers. So be aware of this because some sort of a data information is going to be bringing in some sort of a heartbreaks going forward. As we look at the second week, the second week is from April 27th until May 3rd. We have a Saturn in Libran. Saturn in Libran. The three of swords. Saturn in Libran. A devastation for a Libran. A devastation for a legal issue. Some sort of a legal issue that was going on for you cancers. It's going to be ending up in a devastation. This is Saturn. When Saturn comes in, um, it is bringing back a fairness and justice to something what some of you cancers have done and fairness and justice have to be this is divine justice coming in to resolve a situation that was transpiring let's see what is the message that is coming out yes so i see a lot of you cancers are going to be heartbroken um a lot of you cancers are definitely going to be heartbroken heartbroken over a lot of materialistic stability and you are heartbroken because um, things could be coming out that is not yours. Yes. So I see uncertainty over your materialistic stability. Uncertainty with a situation with a Libran and you cancers. It's as if they're recognizing that some of you cancers along with a Libran has con um, collaborate and took a whole lot of wealth from a Gemini, from other people, from the family of a Gemini, from other people. And I see a huge uncertainty and devastation for you cancers and heartbreaks because they're recognizing that um, you have created some sort of an offensive situation. So I see people are understanding and people are recognizing some sort of an unconventional situation that you guys have gotten yourself in. And together with a Libra and 
um, there's a heartbreak for you, Cancers, because a, a legal issue is going to be costing a lot of you, Cancers, a whole lot of money. Whatever that was happening and transpiring, you cancers have gotten yourself in a huge legal issue. It could be a divorce. It could be something that you have done to someone else and they are going to be charging you cancers for what you have done. It's as if you have come up with a whole lot of wealth and people are saying, where did you get this wealth from? And I see that your husband or your partner is going to be recognizing that you have gotten this wealth on the false um, false act and they are going to be, um, there is going to be chaos in your marriage, chaos in your relationship. And they're going to be recognizing that you can just, along with a liberal as took wealth from someone else and it is not yours. So I see uncertainty, heartbreaks for you cancer along with a liberal because some sort of an information you cancers who are having legal issues not going to be turning out um, as you had hope. Um, you cancers are going to be recognizing you cancers try to sue someone and it's not um, working out because they recognize that you cancers have not spoken the truth in some form and you can says have wealth where you cannot give um evidence of where you get this wealth from so i see a whole lot of information is going to be coming out don't shoot the messenger i have nothing to do with this you see the cards what comes up i don't choose these cards they just came out um and uh, um, this is what it is. Please don't shoot the messenger. I have nothing against cancers. I love cancers. Cancer is my opposite sign. A lot of people um, are talking about, I'm always saying bad things about cancers. No, I love cancers, but it is what it is. I do not read cards. I get um, a channel information. And if it's not yours, let it go, Okay. These are not written in stone, and if it's not yours, let it go. For the rest of you cancers, um, you're going to be recognizing that a liberal or a divorce costs you a whole lot of wealth. Let's move on to the third week. The third week is May um, 4th to May 10th. The energy of the eye princess comes in where some sort of a secrecy that was kept is coming out. And people are going to be recognizing that there was a whole lot of secrecy that was held by some of you young ladies. You young ladies, they're going to be recognizing a whole lot of information is going to be coming out. And a Pisces is going to be... Um, they're going to be recognizing that a Pisces had a whole lot of secrets. So changing gears in the third week, which is going to be affecting a lot of another group of cancers. If you cancers were in a relationship with a Pisces, you are going to be recognizing that a Pisces woman had a whole lot of secrets. This is a young lady. This lady is not, this is a, a young Pisces lady. This person is still alive. Whoever this Pisces is, they had a whole lot of secrets. And now there's a lot of uncertainty. It's going to be coming up for the Pisces woman because they recognize that the Pisces woman had a lot of secrets. So this is a living person. Whoever the Pisces is, is a living person. And you, um, Cancers, could have been co connected with the Pisces person. The Pisces person could be a supervisor, a manager. It could be your mom. It could be um, a, a friend. It could be an aunt. Whoever the Pisces person is uh, had a lot of secrets. And you, Cancers, could have been pretending that a Pisces person is your mom and they're going to be recognized that is not true. That you got a whole lot of wealth that was left. A Pisces woman could have left a whole lot of wealth and you, um, Cancer, took this money and said that it was your mom and they're going to be recognizing that you, Cancers, were not speaking the truth. So there is a whole lot of information 
and that is coming up and a lot of you um cancers are going to be caught up in some sort of an unconventional situation that has to do with a pisces woman and you copy information and data and it's pretending to be the child of a pisces woman and they're going to be recognized it's not true let's look at the third week the fourth week um the other message whenever the eye princess comes up she has a lot of message for some of you pisces some sort of a good news could be coming in uh, some of you cancers um some sort of a good news could be coming in from an ex-lover an ex-lover could be wanted to communicate with you some of you are going to be reaching out to an ex-lover let's look at the last week last week is may 11th until may 20th May 11th until May 20th, I see a lot of conflicts in the organization, institution is coming up. A whole lot of conflicts in the organization, institution. Um, whatever this conflict is about, and I'm going to shift this, a um, whole lot of conflicts in a corporation, institution. And let's see what this conflict is all about. Um, your husband or partner is going to be getting out of a situation so they are recognizing um you cancers a government institution organization is recognizing some sort of a conflicts that you have created for your partner and your partner is going to be getting out of this because they're going to be recognizing the conflicts that was created around um, your partner, um, that some of you are the ones who created this conflicts for your partner. So it's as if um, a corporation institution is not going to be recognizing that a lot of you cancers um, got caught up in some sort of an unconditional situation and um, they're going to be choosing for your partner. So, um, if your partner, it doesn't really matter because, uh, um, this is the energy of the lovers. They are going to be choosing for your partner. So if you and your partner is getting divorced, they are going to be choosing, um, your partner, some sort of a conflict between you, you and your partner. And I see, um, it's as if a divorce court, that sort of, sort of a situation, they're going to be recognizing what has happened and what is transpiring. So if you're going to a divorce, um, yeah, if you're going to a divorce, there is uh, people that is going to be in uh, investigating because they recognize that you can sit together with your partner or going to a huge conflict. And I see a corporation institution is going to be intervening in order to bring some sort of a balance. So whatever is happening and transpiring, I see that they are going to be intervening in some sort of a conflict that some of you um, could be having with a uh, a husband or a lover. And um, it's as if this is going to be going to the courts. Um, and I see people in is going to be intervening and recognizing what has happened and what has transpired. And I see that they are going to be choosing for your partner. So I don't know what was um the problem and if it was a divorce situation this divorce is going to be ending up that they are going to be protecting your partner in this separation and this divorce so a lot of you who are in long long relationship or um you're separating from your children father or you're divorcing um i see that they're going to be intervening and making and the courts, the legalities is going to be intervening and making the right decision. So, um, you know, a lot of problems that was happening and transpiring, um, where a lot of you cancers get caught up. And especially in the last week, is it some sort of a divorce issue or some sort of a conflict that has to involve kids and that sort of a thing. If you notice, um, conflicts with your lover, with your partner. 
and they're going to be recognizing and I see the legalities is going to be, be um, intervening in the situation and bring a balance to this situation and ending this situation. So whoever that was having some sort of a conflicts with your partner and that sort of a thing, they're going to be recognizing what was happening, what was transpiring. They're going to be divinely stepping in and resolve this issue. Cancers, it is the message. Don't shoot the messenger. Use the link below to catch your your to pick up your um message. I gotta go. Namaste.